gonna miss tech lighting much at all. Except for in the mirror. It was uh, very annoying not having it in the mirror. Okay, we're playing against a Briar. Alright. This is uh, maybe gonna be a good showcase for this deck, right? Try it out. Okay, we got all the right stuff. Looks like it look have fun. See a mirror match with Tunic on your side? I have done a mirror match and I lost. But they were also on Tunic, so it's like whatever. Um, here. Honestly, like I don't, I don't really want to do anything. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Like, ugh, look at this. Got him in both hands. I'm over here like, bing bang. Yeah, I'd love to do a mirror. I'd do another mirror. It, it the deck is like kind of awkward for the mirror, just because you have like so many of the zero costs, like uh, warmongers and then. Your pummels and all that kind of stuff. Maybe it was just a weird variance game. My pitch stack was good. It's just, eh. All right, so they made a rune chance. We're going to pay one here, because we can. We'll block the three, because we can. Okay, that is a zero, four. You can have my big soon. We're gonna bottom. Actually, this is not terrible. Ow. And they're now going to think that I'm full fatigue. And it's gonna be hilarious when I pivot on them and then they die. Maybe with Sledge, the tunic over Anathos. Do you want to play Anathos besides the mirror? Anathos is more efficient with um, is more efficient with Zealous and Rouse. But that's actually a really good point. Like maybe we do just want to play Sledge. That's a good point. Huh. That's smart. I like that a lot. Alright, we're gonna give them three cards. Efficient blocks. We can stop some reacts and stuff. They're playing Electrify, so that's how they're kind of doing their damage push. Um, yep, we are good. Picking a Rune Chanty. Rune Chanter, boys. I... I need to stop this because of the Electrify. Um, I mean, that... Part's pretty good. We'll bottom it. Save it for a second cycle. Okay. I actually think. I think this is worth more now to stop some of this uh, this damage. Maybe this is tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch. I feel like this could be wrong prevents the most amount of damage at this case because there's no guarantee that that warmongers is like busted in half right okay they are not paying into the sonata they are they are anyway what do they reveal place sonata reveals three cards command to conquer snatch and gorganian tome so he picked Command and Conquer. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna pay for this. Pitch the Terra Sunder. Yeah, I kinda wanna try Sledge now. That's a super good point, Nomad. <laughs> Very interesting. CNC coming at my face. Just give him the blues. Arts on my own. It says no go again. No way to give it go again. They're playing Crown of Dominion, which means that they're on cash ends. So we uh, need to look out whenever they play a 
channel, we need to have some kind of relevant reaction because that's when they're going to start doing their ground or their uh, their caption turn if they can do both at once, right? So okay, they're just blowing their load now. Sounds good. <laughs> Go and add it. Um, I don't think there's a huge reason to use that now. Okay, so they hit two cards. Maybe a blue, maybe two reds. Probably two reds, because they already fished a couple of blues. Commotion in his wine lightning. They're playing another. Oh. Okay, they're paying into it still. Um. Am I out of my mind? Oh, they only get one. I gotcha. Let's see what they want to say to me, chat. Take an undo. I don't care. What a nice guy. Get a round of applause for Larks over here, being a quality gamer, telling me that they undid, because they made an error selected two on accident. They are, they apologized and said, uh, just didn't want me to think that they were cheating. And, uh, well, it's just solid, you know? Good, wholesome guy. <laughs> stop stop what you're doing i hate it okay so this is a big boy it's like 10 right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i can do that they do not have an arsenal maybe it's worth going war monkeys i don't have let this happen of course but is this is this a good spot to use this probably because they can't get double go again and play two cards let's do that we'll, uh, we'll analyze and see how good it ended up being for real i don't like giving away the crater piss this early if i can help it but i mean if you're gonna stop something the snatch is Good thing to stop. Right. War mongers. There we go. Bang. Blow you out of the water. I hope. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try sledge now. Good. What did they choose? They chose war. Are we surprised? Not at all. Um, they are less. Funny enough. Okay. Um, I. I think I'm okay. Actually, taking a little bit of damage here. I can go command and conquer if I need to. I would rather keep. I don't. I don't care if they get the embodiment here, right? But we don't want their other scars to be turned on. Now this warmongers looks like it probably did very little. <laughs> we just need to take a little bit of damage so those scars aren't insane. Hey, look at that! We did the thing. It worked out. It worked out. Insanity. Um, yeah, 
I'm, I'm gonna do this. Take a little bit more damage. I'm okay with that. If they burn their snaps, their last card is likely something that is a little more relevant. So, either way, we get to play this Command and Conquer, have one card in hand. They have to think about what the, they want to do with that, right? Because it's uh, definitely a bluffed pummel based on the tunic. If we burn the tunic now, we can't make that play. To go like Rampart, I mean. Like, tunic Rampart. Alright, so we're doing this. One card in hand, one floating tunic on free. And they're like, oh god. What have I done? They're still at 40. Good lord. Oh, okay. Well, I said screw it, take it. They <laughs> That's so funny. They arsenaled a Tome of Harvest. So me pummeling them was their get out of jail free card. That's so funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're like, I knew you had Command and Conquer. I knew it. Alright, Force of Nature. I want to keep Sync, I think. So what did they reveal? They revealed Earth of Surge. So two tomes. Yeah, they were they were about to get bricked. Hardcore. Yeah, they're playing Earth or Surge. Hmm. Some attack. And then a Rosetta Thorn. Alright, this is a snatch. Snatch coming in for eight. Um, I have blocks with zero pummels. I'm okay with blocking with this one. So, yeah, it's immediately Thorn. presenting anything back, but their deck size is way lower than ours. Now, what I would love to be able to do, love, 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 is block here with uh, Debilitate and Sync Blow or something, whatever they're doing, right? And then find like a CNC or some relevant play. Be the best. But, I don't know, that's okay. Pulse of Candle Hold. They're getting likely Force of Nature. Maybe Lightning Surge? I mean, I guess it would probably be Force of Nature plus Channel, I guess, but they're about to tell us. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Lightning Surge is a good play too though. I think Lightning Surge plus Force is what I would like automatically gravitate towards. Because they do have the snaps. They can uh, potentially make a pretty solid play. Yep. There it is. Exactly what we were saying. Um, I'm going to make the play where I'm going to play Debilitate and just pummel it. I mean, that's the best I got. But it is disruption, so, like, it's fine. I haven't played an attack, so this is just coming in for two. It doesn't really matter. Go 30. Now, they're drawing Force of Nature. They're drawing Lightning Surge. Two unknowns. No arsenal. So, that's good news for us. Here you go, friendo.
Yeah. I'm going to start playing Sledge, I think. <laughs> That's good. I think it's good. They're like, no, not Pummel, no. My precious cards. Bet it is either one of the unknown cards or Force. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's great. Ooh. Playable hand. Let's see. Now... Blocked with the pummel. The other pummel, I think, is on the bottom of the deck, or like in the middle. So, if I park one of these cards in my arsenal, it's just gonna be sitting there for a little while. So, okay, they discarded a force, but then they ended up playing another force, and it was Weep Earth. It's the fuse. Okay, and then force force. Okay, so this is coming in for eight, right? I think it is this double. It might be double. It's double. I don't want to put it there. Oh shit! No. Um. Well, do this. Okay. Well, this blocks for seven. Big fan of this. Uh, 
Um, blue on top right now it is a blue, but it's one that doesn't block. So I get blocks fine. It's just I'd rather guarantee some three blocks. Take the sword. You got me. All right. See, look. Bottom one through the other one. Are kind of kind of running us out of colors too. Okay, so they made a, a chanty boy. Uh, this is probably go again, so they get the sword value. I mean, it's just free, right? It's just way better. Okay, so this is five, six, seven, eight. Let's, let's do some math real quick. So we can stop all of that with this. And then we need to pay another two there. This card is not very useful at this stage. I can over pitch to it, I guess. Or I can take some of that damage and then swing it back. I think I'm okay with that. Right, we'll take, we'll take. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm taught myself into it. And I'm gonna pitch tear here. Because I can stop the fool here, and he doesn't get the embodiment. Guaranteed taking four. That's fine. Triple daddy. Sir. Keep it going. Just give me three cards. It's fine. Oh my gosh. You had that many two blocks in your hand? I am sorry. Uh, hand sucks. <laughs> oh well. Can't do anything with this. Um, maybe? Up. We're at a stage like this is fine. And some light. Some more. Cash in. Cash in. Not very playable hands. Another one. Give me that. If you have a snatch, then that's so annoying, but like, if you're ending with a snatch, it's whatever, right? So. Okay, so breaking the chain there, that's good. Big value. They don't want to break the chain. Okay, this is Nash. Hell, this sucks. But whatever. Take. I had a feeling it was probably going to be a snatch, but that's the last snatch of the game, so like, not too terribly upset about that. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Wait, how many CNCs we got? Oh, look at that. There he is. Alright, so we're going to try to just block the one relevant thing and then clap back with the CNC pummel. I 
actually don't want to take the arcane here. Or I uh, do want to take the arcane because I want to be able to stop whatever relevant on hit that they may or may not have. Could be command and conquer of their own. That would be a big deal. So, And on their last attack, I have the ability for their sword to be able to pitch this other blue and then do the rampart, right? That's fine. Um, this is go again. I could give two cards to guarantee that they don't have an embodiment, but I'm actually just going to not. Because if their last card is another attack, I'm pretty happy just... What? What is going on? Okay. Jeez. That's kind of like what I thought that they would do, right? So, alright. The thing. And then we have a good follow-up, too. Got the Starstruck with likely dominate because we have a million blues and we've been blocking with a million reds. So. It's giving me two cards. 11. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's very awkward for them, it seems. Yeah, we had no idea, right, that the last card, like, they weren't going to swing another attack. So, I think it was right to just take the, the E-Strike. Blocking. They're trying to block efficiently here. Which is fine. It's like, sure. Whatever. But. <laughs> Opponent. <laughs> it's... <laughs> they just said my brain is fried. <laughs> They've already showed us like all the cards in their hand. Oh man. Good stuff, good stuff. That's so funny. Alright. You got it. You did it. The whole thing. Give one card too if we want to. You know, pop. One card start shot. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, sword me. Sword me, daddy o. Uh, yes. They said absolutely. Uh, I could have given tunic here to prevent a life or uh, save a life. Starstruck is time on. Time block time. Card is insane. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like we didn't already know. And this is probably just going to lose them the game. Very likely. The art in this card is insane. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That is a valid in-game option that you can do. Yes. They're like, uh, 
This isn't just weapons, or... They said it isn't just attack cards, because they're trying to swing the, the weapon here. And I was like, yep, it's weapons too. And they said, wonderful, <laughs> with an exclamation point. <laughs> they said, it's basically time walk from MTG. And I said, I love it. They said la mal. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Good Star Strike times. <laughs> Wee! Star Strike. Star Strike. Star Strike. This pitch deck is close. Rose, 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 Rose. I think I'm just going to throw this to actually. Our opponent was a lot of fun. Very talky, very fun in the chat. Well, the time walk is a real magic hand. You're right. Did you just look it up? Is that the first time you've seen it? Yeah, just take an extra turn. Easy peasy. This is actually kind of good for them, right? Like, uh, well, it's, it's not good for them, obviously, but th this is a good block for them based on the way that I'm playing. Because I 100% could have just said dominate pass, but now they're at one in the same. I'm sorry. I want to do it with this. We, we got to go the trifecta, you know what I'm saying? Just bing, bing, pong. Um, this... Technically, we could just not give them that. Very good opponent. I like playing them. 